Star Scorecard, cheat code 5.10A. Guys, 5.10, that's the last. There's five of these cheat codes, A, B, C, and we skip D, then F and E. Um, we're almost done with this series. Thanks for watching all these videos. I really appreciate it. So, again, asterisk means these are more important. Uh, these are the most frequently asked on the star test. All of 510 is about money. All of it. Can you balance a budget? Uh, do you know about different types of taxes? Do you know how to save money, etc., etc.? Uh, 510A, define income tax, payroll tax, sales tax, and property tax. Hugely important. This is just vocab. You have to know con concepts. It's less, less of a skill and more just like, do I know what that is? Okay, so we're going to have two videos for this, this TEAT 5.10A. Uh, we're going to talk about vocab, concepts, and then one question, and then the next video will be five questions. So, Yee, vocab. Employer. If ever you're asked about the employer, it's asking you about who's the boss, who, who the person who writes the paycheck, okay? Ask your parents. What does employer mean? Who is your employer? I work for I University Prep. That is my employer. GCISD, Great Mountain College ISD, is my employer. They're the boss, they write the checks. I'm the employee, I'm the worker, I'm the teacher. I work for Great Mind. They're the employer, I'm the employee. And then my wage, my, that's my salary. I get a check every month for teaching, for making these videos, okay? That's, wages just means money. Make it rain. <laughs> All right, so there's a whole separate video about gross income versus net income. Please watch it. Gross income is the money before deductions. It's before taxes, before insurance. Net income is a smaller amount of money that I actually get to spend. So let's say if my check is for $4,000 every month, I might only get $3,000. So $1,000 that I earned gets deducted, okay? So... Net is bigger than, uh, gross is bigger than net. Net is smaller than gross. Net is the money that I get to spend. And deductions, that's money that, that you, you, you lose before you even get your money. Taxes to the government, insurance, um, savings, IR, like uh, retirement plans, etc. Here's the heart of this video. So 5.10a, we're going to spend our, most of our time talking about these four types of taxes. There are four types of taxes. Income tax, payroll, sales, property. Income tax is the money that's taxed, the, the employee, I'm the teacher, I get taxed based off of my income. So money that you pay to the government from your work earnings. Money that is taken out of your check. Who pays the income tax? Everybody that gets a check. If you get a check, you pay income tax. Okay? Payroll tax, not everybody pays. So this is kind of un... It is what it is. Payroll tax, additional money that employers, that's the boss, that's the people writing the checks, pay to the government on top of what they pay their employees. So this is kind of interesting. Payroll tax is money that you, that a boss, that a company owner has to pay the government to be able to pay the employee. So employees cost their bosses a lot of money beyond the money that they make, that they receive. Okay. So employers have big responsibilities and, and it's, it's very hard to be an employer because of payroll tax and other things. Sales tax. When you buy your jeans at Gap or an American Eagle, Old Navy, wherever, anytime you buy something, a thing, okay, I had to pay sales tax on this marker. When you go to the Apple store and you buy your new phone or you go to the, the, the Mac store, the, uh, the Windows store, and you buy your new computer, you have to pay taxes on top of the thing that you buy. That's a sales tax. So when you buy something, you got sales tax. And then property tax... Well, this kind of built into the word property, okay? Money that homeowners pay to the government based on a percentage of their property value. If you own a home, if you own property, you have to pay taxes every year on that property, okay? So if you are renting, if you rent an apartment, 
you do not pay taxes because you don't own it. You don't own the apartment. If you, you don't pay property taxes on your car, you only pay property taxes on your property, on land and on homes, on buildings that you own. Only the homeowner pays property tax. Only the employer pays payroll tax. Okay. I will say just one little thing. Taxes are really important because they pay for our roads. They pay for teachers. All teachers are paid because your parents or somebody's paying taxes. Okay. Uh, ta school in the United States is free because of taxes. These are, it's a very really cool thing to pay taxes. Some people have opinions on how much you should pay. <laughs> uh, so, question number one. When a homeowner, homeowner, that's like a keyword, that's the whole question. When a homeowner pays money based on the value of their home, what types of taxes are they paying? Property tax. Home equals property. Land, okay? Property tax. Value of their home. Property tax. Anytime you see homeowner, value of property, value of home, value of land, property tax. Okay. Even if you don't own a home, like let's say some people live in the country and they own a hundred acres and there's no buildings on it, they have to pay the government taxes on that property because the, the land is valuable. And so they pay taxes on the value of the land. It's a real interesting program or system that we have in the United States. So, guys, that's video number one. We're going to have video number two for 5.10a. Uh, thanks for watching.